Hi there, uh, this is Murph again. Uh, I will show you how to uh, install and run an uh, own cloud instance on top of a uh, Linux uh, VM running on the uh, own cl uh, Windows Azure cloud platform. Um, so I'm running a, a Ubuntu 12.04 uh, small instance on, on top of my, my Windows Azure account here. So. Uh, so first, I'm I'm gonna connect to my VM uh, to SSH. Okay, so this is the this is my uh, Linux VM uh, instance. Uh, as you see here, it's running one core. Um, and there's only one hard drive attached. Uh, the IP address, Intel IP address, and all the information. Um, so uh, let me uh, see what port is it uh, running the SSH tunnel. So 58675 is the public port that I'm going to be using to connect to this uh, VM. So uh, let me open a terminal. So I have it already there. So this is my DNS name of the VM. And I'm going to put uh, 58675. Uh, my username is my. Uh, okay. I could keep it a little bit uh, as it is because I already have my Ubuntu desktop running with my account. So you can do it like this if you want. With a different account. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Okay. Okay, I am I'm long logged in to my Ubuntu instance here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the own cloud website for some instruction around uh, installing the uh, this uh, package, own cloud package into the Ubuntu VM that I have there. So uh, once I go to the owncloud.com website, I go to products, downloads, and uh, I'm going to go for the own cloud server edition. And all I will do is basically select uh, the Debian here, so for the RPM and Debian. RPM is for the CentOS Red Hat, and Debian is for Ubuntu and Debian based uh, distros. So click on download. And I'm going to follow this step since I'm doing 12.04. I'm going to copy this and uh, paste that command. Okay, so we downloaded uh, the key uh, repository information. So I'm just going to add this key. Done. Oh, I have to be a sudo to run sudo. Okay. Okay, done. So now I'm going to run a uh, just a package update just to make sure that the you know want to repository gets updated. Get update. And this uh, instruction is available here. Okay. And then the next one we're gonna run is this uh, install cloud command. Uh, so it's done. So I'm gonna do sudo again. And it's gonna launch the installer now. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now it's asking for my uh, new password for the uh, MySQL database that it's gonna use. So I'm gonna just put my put a new password for the MySQL because since I didn't have any MySQL installed on the machine, so it's gonna do it already. Uh, so I'm gonna set a password. Make sure it's set it pretty strong because that's the root password for the MySQL database. Okay. Make sure you use root, okay? So On 
packing the MySQL server package. Uh, installing a lot of dependency looks like that's a good thing about uh, Debian package manager okay now it's unpacking the own cloud It just created the VM, so probably it doesn't have much information. Uh, so you can attach more disk if you want um, in the Azure platform. Okay, so it's done. So now let me try logging into this uh, to this uh, on cloud instance from a browser uh, from my home machine. Okay, so let me make sure I have it correct. So that's my DNS name. Now I may not be able to connect because I have to add a rule as far as I remember the endpoint but just want to show you um, okay uh, I don't think it'll allow me the reason for that I don't have a uh, rule for the HTTP under the endpoint so let me show it again so I'm going to go to my VM here and click on endpoint because the firewall in the firewall this is like a firewall that is acting and uh, that we have to add a rule uh, if you want to allow HTTP traffic uh, through port